passenger trains in the United States versus Europe. Look, I, this is the future I want. I want a future where we have high-speed trains in America, please. I've had so many friends in California who I want to see without having to stay in California for more than a night. That's the most, that's most Californians' dreams. To not have to stay there more than a night. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calbis. My name is Lumo, and today we are looking at r slash day. That's interesting. A separate dedicated to things that are moderately fascinating. You know, they're not blowing your mind, but at the very least, they're fun to think about. So let's just get right into it. I ate this camera pill yesterday. Since the doctors wanted to see my whole digestive system from inside, it takes two photos per second and even has LEDs incorporated. Yep, we're at that point in history. That's really cool. Uh, simultaneously, how did you get it back? And why are you taking photos of it after you got it back? Do you pass this entire thing? And do they make you crap into the whole bowl? I have a lot of questions. The Christmas trees in Kiev. This is like tragically beautiful, but at the same time, I'm happy they were able to have one because it's a big tradition. And simultaneously, the indomitability of the human spirit will ever find a way to find joy in harsh times. That's the beauty of it. Although it is, again, sad. I would love to have seen what they would have done this year. Provided certain circumstances did not happen. Toilets in a medieval castle. <laughs> I don't think you're getting your pill camera back if you use these ones. <laughs> you know, there is some groundskeeper who had to tend to the bushes down there and absolutely got like a log slogged directly onto their head. And that's the worst. <laughs> Jonah Hill accepted the lowest wage as possible, 60k for seven months, to work with Martin Scorsese in The Wolf of Wall Street. It was a dream come true to work with Scorsese. I don't care about money. Yeah, because you already have more than God. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get why this is an interesting fact. Rich man decides he doesn't want to be paid rich man wages for once. Wow, I'm fascinated. This garlic doesn't have separate cloves, it's just one solid piece. I feel my ancestry calling to me as an Italian-American. I could make one hell of a sauce with this. Use one to two cloves of garlic? No, I only need the one. But it's super garlic. Gold Depository at the New York Federal Reserve, 1959. Miss me with your crappy shoes. If you think you're getting in better than me, you better have the cast iron gold slip. <laughs> God, imagine. This used to back money. Now it's used for phones. If you're liking this video, you should do us a favor right now and subscribe. It won't get you your pill camera back, but at the very least, it'll help us out by making us make more videos for you by obligation. That's right, by hitting that button, you send us the good chemicals, which lets us make more content for you now today. Was that coherent? No, like, comment, subscribe, let's keep going. Anti-drone weapon used by a Brazilian agent in Brazil's presidential inauguration. Isn't that just like uh, an IF? What's it called? Yeah, it's not an infrared blaster, but it interrupts the signal for the drone and it basically just crashes down to Earth. I think that's just really cool. I think it's neat that we're at the point where we have electric guns to fight down small helicopters. A stealth bomber was caught on one of Google's satellites. That is actually really cool. I like the fact that it's chromatically aberrating, indicating that like it's moving that fast. Also, a stealth mission is currently operational is right. I want to know. I'm looking for context to see why it has that chromatic aberration. And one of the comments is just Payday 2 OST switches tracks, and that's correct. That's how it is. Identical twin sisters, Brianna and Brittany, marry identical twin brothers, Josh and Jeremy, and both gave birth to male kids. And I question if they'll look the same because they're not technically twins. The one on the left looks like he has very different eyes than the one on the right, so who can say? Not I, for I'm not John Biology, I'm John Calbus. American Eagle captures Canadian goose taken on security camera on the Wadapum Dam, Washington, 12 15, 2022. That's terrifying with <laughs> that goose. Like, don't get me wrong, that goose is cooked. I mean, it won't be cooked, but it's cooked. But, like, that eagle looks so determined, and the goose looks so put out to be here. I mean, for obvious reasons, this is the last flight it will ever take. Abraham Lincoln, before and after the Civil War. Yeah, stress will do that to you. I'll be stress will do that to you. And being El Presidente is a very stressful job. Like, look at pictures of Barack Obama, friend of the show. <laughs> He's not. But look at images of Obama uh, before and after his terms in presidency. That man aged like 20 years in the span of eight. 
Like, it's a stressful job. After the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster in 2003, a Texas farmer found this astronaut helmet in his field. That's upsetting. I assume he had to return that, but like, oh man, what a way to go. Built in 1939, the Brigandier Lighthouse is possibly the most isolated lighthouse in the world. I would feel like I was an inch away from death, one bad storm away from my entire life ending. That rock pillar does look sturdy. How do you get up that though? Where are the stairs? Are there stairs? How do you dock? Do you have to get helicoptered in? I got a lot of questions. These are the oldest known trousers. It dates from 1122 to 926 BC. This is shown by radiocarbon analysis of samples. They were found near the city of Turfan. This is in China, but at the time it was an empire called Jushi. I love, look, first of all, I like the design on these. It's really cool, but I do forget that sometimes there was probably a point where civilization and not having pants overlapped. And I question when that time was because it wasn't then and it definitely isn't now, at least it I hope it's not. If it is, I'm way overdressed. An entire garden without a single grain of soil, sand, or compost. All right, so heating up the PVC pipe, jam it in to get it into shape. So this is a form of hydroponics, I believe, or is it aeroponics? So that's a nutrient rich like foam cube, if I understand correctly. And uh, basically they have to pump mist or some other nutrient rich liquid down through the top of that. So while yes, there isn't a grain of sand, soil, or compost, those hold important nutrients which have to be given to the plant in other ways. So it is cool, it's a wonderful concept, and it's neat to see that it works, and it does work, and it will allow us to grow things in urban environments. But simultaneously, it's not as simple as just water plants and put them in a tube. You, th there's a lot more to this. NASA satellite imagery of Lake Mead in 2000 compared to 2022. Doesn't Lake Mead power like Vegas and California? Like, isn't it just being overtaxed, if I remember correctly? Which is not good, mind you, and I hope it repairs, but like, maybe California needs to find more water. <laughs> this person caught the same fish a month and a half later. Well, yeah, I mean, it didn't learn. It didn't learn its lesson. It still jumped on that hook like a little stupid. Glad to see it healed up, though. Glad to see it's doing better. Drake's chain features 42 engagement rings of potential suitors in the artist's life for more than 351.38 carats and diamonds entitled previous engagements. This could pay for my college. This image depresses me. This image depresses me. We're moving on. Salvador Elviguer. Oh, I'm going to butcher this dude's name. Salvador, <laughs> Salvador Alviangra, a 36-year-old fisherman, drifted more than 10,000 kilometers from Mexico, was found washed up on the shore, spending 438 days at sea. How did he manage that? He was found on the Marshall Islands after spending 14 months adrift in a fishing boat on the Pacific Ocean. Uh, he survived mainly a diet of raw fish, turtles, small birds, sharks, and rainwater. He swam to shore at Tile Islet, a small island that's part of the Ebon Atoll on the 30th. Two locals found him naked, clutching a knife and shouting in Spanish. I mean, hey, glad he's home. Two different comic strips by the same name. Dennis the Menace, both first published on the same day on March 12th, 1951, by total coincidence. I know, I think the UK Dennis the Menace has a better energy about him. Dennis on the left just looks like a run-of-the-mill evil politician, but the one on the right, he means business. He might scam you on the streets. Horses on a plane. I hope they enjoy their trip to the races. That's weird. This, this image is like liminal to me. It's very uncanny. And that's all the time we have here today on Calvis. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share this with a friend who could use a reminder that horse on plane. If you do want more r slash dang that's interesting, there'll be another popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Luma, and I hope to see you in the very next Calvis video. Have a great rest of your day.